All right, so the transpose tool, it's move, scale, and rotate, okay? If you guys look to the top left of your UI, you will see to the right of draw, the uh, move, scale, and rotate. I don't have those because I use uh, the shortcuts, right? Which are W, E, and R. So if I have an object and I hit W, pay attention to the draw tool and look what happens when I hit W. All right. When I hit W, we go to the move tool. If you guys hit W, your move icon will be highlighted in orange. If I click and drag, okay, just quickly click and drag my tool, you will notice that this tool is made up of different parts. Okay. I'm going to move my sphere to the side and for us to move the tool we go to the middle orange ring not the inside this is very important but the outside middle ring okay so I'm going to click and drag on the outside middle ring and what I want you guys to pay attention is the shape of the tool all right I have two ends one that has either two red or blue handles with two green handles and then the opposite end which has a white circle at the very end okay so if I click on these handles you can see exactly what they do all right I am aligning the tool the direction of the tool on those axes okay there you can see the blue handles okay and that means that they're aligning on X, on Z, and on Y. So when I'm in the either move, scale, or rotate tool, and the transpose tool shows up, right? No matter where I click on my object, it will base its position based on the normal of the object, okay? So as you can see, if I click right here, right? And I move this to an angle, where the edge of the sphere appears with the tool, you will notice that this tool is set up at 90 degrees from the surface. And if I rotate, the same thing, 90 degrees from the surface. That is because the transpose tool looks for the normal direction of every plane. If I bring the sphere to a low subdivision and you can see the squares right when I click on any of these vertices right the tool will take its cue from that vertice and it will guide itself at a 90 degree direction from that vertice all the way out of the surface so no matter where you click the transpose tool will take into consideration the normals of that specific face. Now, if I have an object and I want my tool to behave with the direction of the camera, what we see, I would hold the shift key and swiftly click and drag. All right, again, click and drag your transpose tool. Just do that really quick. Don't go really slow, okay, because you're gonna deal with a lot of snapping. You just go click and drag, okay, click and drag okay now this tool let me move this to the left and move the tool to the right this tool now is aligned to the camera so I can click on these handles and it will change the direction based on those handles so what can we do with the move tool well to understand the move tool realize that to move the tool you have to grab the orange middle ring okay right now I'm just rotating the camera so if I drag the transpose tool you will notice that there is a green line okay that is the direction that this tool has so for example if I hit W for move and I go to the middle of the orange ring and I drag my object my object will go left and right up and down okay the middle ring it's a free movement position however because my line is going from left and right 
if I start moving and immediately hold the shift key, I'm restraining my movement only to left and right and not up and down. Why is this happening? Well, this is happening because my line, my direction, it's on a horizontal position. If I switch the direction of my transpose tool to an up and down direction, right? And let me move this towards the center. Let me move the tool towards the center. If I hold the middle of the orange ring until I get that white circle, if I move up and then I hold the shift key, you will see that if I move left and right, I'm restrained to only a vertical movement. Again, if I move this line towards a 45 degree angle, and then I move my object and I hold my shift key, then I'm restrained to a 45 degree angle, okay? The direction of the line will determine in the restriction of the movement while I hold the shift key. If I don't hold the shift key, I can do anything I want with the movement. Okay, now let's switch to scale. I'm gonna click and drag to the right hand side, okay? And the scale tool and the rotate tool don't work by moving the center, okay? They work by moving the inside of the outer ring, okay? So if I move my tool towards the center of the object, I'm scaling my object in and out, okay? The same thing for rotation. And if I wanna rotate this guy around, right, I can make my tool shorter by dragging the outer ring. If I wanna rotate this around, I would hit the letter R for rotation first, and then I can rotate my object. You can see this better if I bring the polyframe, Shift F, and I rotate my object. I can hold the shift key and then it will snap into one either 45 degree angle or 90 degree angle. All right. If I want to flatten the object, what I would do is use the move tool and then use move the volume inwards. Again, I would move the volume inwards. I would not use scale because it will scale the whole thing proportionally. If I go to the middle of the scale tool, I could do a stretch and squash, right? And I can move this right here and get the same effect that we wanted to do. But sometimes it's just easier just to move it. I'm moving this volume towards the center by hitting W and then holding the shift key so I don't get a weird movement and then use squashing my object, okay? So this is primarily how we use the transpose tool in ZBrush. <laughs>